Hi guys, my name is Adam from Tech2.hu and the next couple of minutes you are watching my Lenovo IdeaPad A10 Touch Netbook uh, video review. The box is a simple Lenovo box, same like the most netbook and notebook box from this manufacturer. Uh, and of course it's a little damage as you can see in the box uh, we find some contents like here is the A10 uh, a little user guide and uh, yeah we find a charger which is a simple USB port a, a simple USB charger with uh, with two ampere and uh, and here is the micro USB cable for uh, charging So here is the Lenovo IdeaPad A10, uh, which is actually a netbook powered by Android, and uh, it has also a touchscreen for the fully Android experience. From the outside, the cover is plastic with uh, brown color, but the qu quality is similar than the IdeaPad S210, for example. If we look at the ports, in the right side we find a micro USB port for charging, a micro HDMI for connect to HD TV. We have a simple micro SD slot for memory cards. And we have a full size standard USB 2.0 for uh, attached any device like a mouse or a flash drive. In the left side, we also have another USB 2.0 port and uh, a headset connector. And here is the power button and as you can see now button for volume control the device is really thin like an ultrabook but it's only a based on ARM and it's called a Android netbook not ultrabook in the bottom we find two speaker here and here's the other and now we open it. Here is the 10.1 inch screen with uh, 1366 by 768 pixels. And uh, unfortunately it it's just a TM panel and not IPS. So as you can see, uh, I try to show it. So as you can see it, the screen viewing angle is not the best. The screen quality is uh, not, not so good, I think. I think the biggest fall in the Lenovo IdeaPad A10 is, is the witness screen. The keyboard is coming from the Windows based IdeaPad notebooks, but in the top row we find some dedicated Android control button 
for example the home button or buttons for volume control and uh, and we can switch to airplane mode or of course we can uh, switch off the touchpad this uh, keyboard is with Hungarian layout but of course it's available with English layout in some regions the touchpad is very small with uh, two dedicated buttons but of course Android used only one button for four clicks it's a Android touch screen notebook but we can turn back the screen and it's usable in a stand mode I show it It is okay for watching movies or surfing on the web, but it isn't uh, fully reclining to tablet mode like the IdeaPad Yoga notebooks. So you can't use like notebooks or like tablets. You can't use only as a note netbook or uh, a stand mode like this. The 8 and running Android 4.2 Jelly Bean with a customized Lenovo user interface. In the bottom of the main screen we find a menu button and uh, the recently used applications icons, for example the Gmail or the browser. In the right corner the symbol refer to the dock is hideable but after I'm pushed it the icons are hide but the gray line is stay here so I think it's a bug or or I don't know the notification panel is familiar than a normal Android device and uh, yeah, the control panel is customized by Lenovo and here we can switch in or off some functions like wireless and as well as we can turn off and reset the Android system. For first I would say some words about the hardware. Under the Hood. Lenovo used Rockchip RK3188 processor. Uh, I try to show it in Antutu, uh, sorry, in a quadrant. So, as you can see, the, this is a quad core processor with 1.6 GHz clock and uh, with Mali 400 GPU. This model is configured with uh, 1 GB of RAM and uh, 16 GB flash storage, but it's also available in some regions with double memory and double flash. The built-in battery capacity is 22.6 Watt hour. And uh, now let's look at the software. In the menu we are discovered that Leno isn't offer many extra software, just uh, the file manager and the application for updates. And the other apps is uh, just a simple stock Google Android applications. For web surfing, Lenovo also installed the older browser application and uh, like this and and uh, Google Chrome. Uh, 
the bro browsers aren't support Adobe Flash Player, so you can miss it. Unfortunately, the touchpad isn't support the multitask gestures. So, if I trying to scroll in the browser by touch screen, it isn't works. So, I I have to use the touch screen for scrolling. I think it's a little bit fault. Everything's ok with the web browsing, the page is loading fast and uh, show the most details on the web. This is our website called tech2.hu and as you can see it works great. The only one camera which is uh, which is uh, which there is above the screen is not so good. It's only a VGA resolution camera with uh, horrible quality. We get a file manager, of course. Here is it. It's looking pretty nice and uh, support external hard drives or flash drives. For example, this one. Uh, the flash manager or file manager, I'm sorry, support uh, to connect FTP or other networks with the uh, internet. And you can also use it for watch movies from hard drive. I connect my flash drive and uh, okay, the Google Play music is forced close. So here is the USB drive. Okay, Google Play music forced closed again. I can open maps in the pen drive. I can open or I can't open. Okay. The Explorer application force closed. I think Lenovo has uh, some fail to it uh, software optimization. But most time the file explorer has works great just in this review <laughs> it uh, doesn't work fine so here is a simple movie which i try to showing on the ideapad a10 but the device doesn't want Okay, so as you can see, you can't watch movies from flash drive. Maybe it works from direct on the flash drive or on the built-in flash. As you can see, we have in the menu Google Play Store and Hangouts, Play Games, Play Books and other stock Android uh, applications. For example, here is the, where is it? The play music, here is it. I hope it will be works, but now, I don't know which is the problem. I disconnect the flash drive. Maybe it's work without it. So, okay, it's work.
Halt. As I mentioned it, here is the stereo speakers. This is the maximum volume. The sound quality much worse than the Yoga Tablet 8, but uh, it's better than the most Android tablet or Windows netbooks. So it's not not the best. And uh, as you can see, the idea for A10 netbooks doesn't work fine with the uh, flash drive maybe it's uh, only a software bug and Lenovo will be mm, bring an update for it I think the weakness of the IdeaPad A10 is the low view angle screen it's a big field I think Uh, and the little service and pre-installed applications. The conception is not bad, uh, cheap netbook powered with uh, strong hardware and uh, Android. So I think it's not bad because it's only cost about 250 euros in the European market. Well, this was my Lenovo IdeaPad A10 Android Touch Netbooks re video review. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe on tech2.eu's YouTube channel. Bye.